Many of the sites we often select to cover can oftentimes be barely surviving relics from lost antiquities. However, we find ourselves in a fortunate age, where not only do we have the technology to study vast volumes of literature, all at the tap of a finger, but also enables those with similar interests, and possibly knowledge of a ruin unheard somewhere, to discuss such. And so far, it seems the ongoing debate has found a healthy home here on YouTube. Indeed, with a number of dot-com websites becoming more and more popular, this being an inevitable result of the exposure of the many relics we share, proving a vast amount of people share a similar opinion, and like you and I, are seemingly not blind to the obvious, rather than blindly following the opinion fed to them by authority. However, the fact that the many as-mentioned ruins, no matter how robust, made from any known material, will all eventually return to nature, either through erosion or entropy, it is inevitable. We are in an age where not only do we possess such capabilities, but there are fortunately countless ruins once made of enormous, notoriously weather-resistant tough granite. Baffling and unexplainable stones, we simply cannot decode how they were used. And we feel this is perhaps the exact reason they were used in said ruins. Perhaps it was a statement to say, we were here, and we were advanced. The polygonal roadway on Cypress Hill, for example, the main subject of this video, is one such example of a ruin that, due to its apparent construction in courses, is clearly a close match to that of polygonal masonry, now catalogued all over the world. The opportunity to dismiss as geological, we feel, is becoming a stronger argument by the day. Cypress Hill's polygonal roadway reveals there are many incredible areas which are not as robust as others, far more susceptible to erosion. However, in the channel's opinion, archaeological excavations should be undertaken. It will prove, or disprove, the discovery of the formation's true origins, either artificial or an uncanny natural formation. Mystery history strongly suspects it is indeed an exposed section of a much larger still-buried road which has laid preserved under the soil just waiting to be exposed. Who built the roadway on Cypress Hills? Do you feel confident in declaring it of artificial origins? Or do you perceive it as a geological formation? Feel free to let us know your opinion in the comments. I think adding personal opinions below will be an interesting exercise for all to see in regard to public opinion of the formation. Hopefully, one day localized digs will expose the reality once and for all regarding the road. Undoubtedly, a most curious uncanny of rock formations, one which we find highly compelling.